So your financial educator here in ING Indian Channel. Today, I will show you how to address an import book of invest in your ING two-minute tools. Now, watch this. So let's start. So log in again in your IMG portal para makalag in kayo sa binunit nyo. So using your user ID and password. Okay? So then click yung log in. Okay? So the moment na makatapos ka na log in mo na nandun ka na inside in your portal. So to cut to your menu bar. So makita mo ito. Yung menu bar mo na mayroong tools. So click mo yan. Click mo yung IMG. G Dominic. Okay, so then after login ka ulit using your user ID and password mo. So click login, then include again your user ID and password. So same sa IMG portal mo. Then after that, click login. So as simple as that. So now, nandito na tayo sa IMG portal mo. So very simple. Ang gagawin natin is i-click lang natin to below yung I email blast. Okay, then pagkatapos, click natin view all list. So, click natin to. So ito yung mga list mo. Then pwede natin mag-add tayo ng new list here. So click here. Then, input natin yung ano yung name ng list mo. So, for example, lagay natin online uh, share list mo or ING share list, Kaiser share list, or mutual fund share list mo. Then, click here. Then, pagkatapos, ito na. So, so two way to add list on your portal. So, pwede ka to CSV files. So, basahin mo to. So, i-save mo to CSV files. Then, of course, uh, dapat sa Excel nyo, uh, dapat the, if follow the templates. So, follow the templates, so name and email address. So, i-follow mo yan. Then, of course, you choose pa sa nakasave. Then, and, then, import. Then, another is add name and email per line. So, dito, ang gagawin natin, uh, in, so, here, no? tayo dito so balik natin dito so here so gagawin natin dito is i-input mo yung email address mo then after comma then email address so yun ang so input email address here and put comma after then input another email address so as simple as that so you can include more email address basta after the email address meron siyang kama before another email address so yun lang ang rule okay para then maka import kayo ng list mo so make sure is up in list okay ano ba yung up in list up in list is galing yun sa landing page mo sa mga inquiry mo okay sa facebook uh, ads mo so ganun Okay, meron kang landing page of invest. So, click here. So, click mo to para papasok siya sa system sa domain ito. So, nandito na. So, naka-record na yung ino of invest. Okay. So, here, balik tayo sa view all list. Balik tayo here. Then, gagawin natin. So, check natin to yung ginawa natin na add list. So, nandito yung online list ko. So, of course, uh, nakita yung ginawa natin kanina na ini-include ng guest. So, pwede tayo mag-add subscription. Okay, click natin to add subscription, meaning more email address. Okay, here, more shareless. Okay, so gagawin natin sa Excel file mo, so dapat susundin talaga natin yung templates. Name and email address lang. Okay, so wag lagyan ng contact number kasi nakalagay yung lagyan ko ng mobile number so just follow me ang email address na. okay then you save CSV files okay sa Excel nyo so here so pagkatapos nyo dyan click my to file niya save as comma delimited okay delimited so yun ang um, 
sieve as type. Okay? So, make sure it's correct kasi para ma-import yun. Kasi yun ang kailangan ng system ng Dominicos. Naka-sieve siya to CSV file. So, here, lagyan nyo yung file name. Kung ano file name yan. So, for example, uh, whatever file name nyo ha, para madali mag-indify yung mga last name. Okay? So, yun lang. Yung sieve as type. So, hanapin natin yung CSV dimulitin. Kama dimulitin. So, here. Okay, nagpamalit malit na tayo. Kama dimulitin. Yun, CSV. Again ha, make sure it's correct. Then, you click save. Okay? Here, click. Okay, so, gagawin natin, back tayo sa dominate. So, ang gagawin natin, i-import natin yung Excel file na yun. So, at choose natin here, import your CSV file. Hanapin natin saan siya nakasave sa PC or computer natin na file. Then, pagkatapos, so, import natin. Open natin here. Click natin to open. Then, pagkatapos dyan. Then, nandito na siya. Nakita na siya dyan. Then, you click import. Okay? So, just simple as that. So, click import. Okay? So, here. So, kung meron siyang error, meron siyang error, so, balikan natin. Okay? So, make sure you follow the templates name and email address lang. So, delete natin to kasi nakamali. So, yun ang mangyari if magkamali. Okay? Balik natin. Save as ano yung ay save natin? CSV files. Okay? So, balik natin. Hanapin natin yung nakasave. Ito. Click natin. Then, nandito na siya sa system. Ligaw natin yung import. Click yan. Okay? So, right now, so naka-import na. So, tingnan ninyo, nag-ear increasing na yung subscribers less natin. Okay, minus 48%. So, importing less. Kita nyo, dito here, na merong arrow, so increasing siya. So, make sure it works yung ginawa natin. Okay, so nandito, makita natin dito sa view on less, sa subscriber less natin, yung lahat ng mga open rates less natin ng mga ginawa natin ng mga landing page. Okay? So, make sure uh, para hindi kayo mas spam. Okay? So, of course, I teach you how to do yung pinatawag natin ng landing page. So, ibang tutorial video yan. So, turuan ko kayo paano gumawa dyan. Kasi make sure hindi tayo mas spam. Okay? Kaya, importante yon sa email marketing na dapat uh, sila yung nag-open. Meaning, you are authorized to share your information or email or newsletter. Okay? So, here, check natin. So, ito na yung mga email address na na-import natin sa system natin sa Dominate Tools. So, check natin here. So, nakita nyo. O, maraming email address na na-import natin. So, gagawin natin new old list. Then, check natin saan siya na list. So, kanina yung list ko na online share list. So, nandito nakita niyo So, naka-open na dyan. Meaning, nakapasok na yung email address niya. Yeah. Okay? So, just simple as that. So, gagawin mo ulit and ulit. Gagawin mo yan. Mag-add ka para ma-master niyo yung dominate post. Okay? So, why I want to learn something today in our tutorials and I think